away where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. Father, we pray. He will make a Glorify our Son Jesus Christ in our lives, Lord. Do anything. Let not our head lack earth, man. Let our garments ever remain white. In Jesus' name. Beloved, I greet you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Still under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophets, we are still looking at a series teaching about prophetic numbers. So we have looked at 8, we have looked at 2 and 3, 4 and 5. Today we want to look at 6 and 7. So it's a number of man. But man is a product of the sixth day. Man was created on the sixth day. Also, Satan is also capitalizing on that six to draw his own agenda, 666. Seven is known all across the spectrum of the church as a number of perfection. Lot of, there are a lot of scriptures pointing at that. For instance, Elijah told Naaman to go and watch seven times for him to be healed and whole. And of course, as he did that, he was whole. Elijah told the servant to go and look seven times. I would say the seventh time the rain came. Seven is a number of perfection. It's also a number of rest, because God rested on the seventh day. The Bible said that remains the Sabbath rest for the people of God. I pray that the Lord will perfect all that concerns you. As you listen to this prophetic telecast, I pray that God will bring you literally into His rest. And you will cease from your labor. Eternity, you enter into God's rest. In Jesus.